8 hacks that every HTML and CSS user should know which will upgrade your skills to the next level and stand out in crowd. Let's start with hack number 1, use caniuse.com. So basically this website is created to know about browser supports for front-end technology. For example, you want to know scrollbar width property is working in browsers or not. So search scrollbar width in this search box and you see there are browser list in three colors, green, gray and red. Green for supported, gray for unknown support and red for not supported. And here also see global percentage of the supported devices which is 3.95. That's pretty bad, don't use scrollbar width. Hack number 2, minify your CSS. Which means eliminating all unnecessary characters from the source code to decrease the file size. And that's why your website speed will increase. So open cssminifier.com and paste all your CSS into left side. And that will generate the minified version of your CSS. Copy that and paste it in the new file. Make sure you have backup for your CSS files, otherwise you lose your CSS like me. Hack number 3 Visual Studio Code Shortcuts VS Code is pretty good in programming in general. Here are some shortcuts that will save a lot of time. First one is multiple cursor. You can create multiple cursor by holding Alt or Option key and click on where you want multiple cursor. Second one is find the selection text. For that select the text you want to search and press Ctrl or Command plus D and it will select all exact same text from the file. Third one for move code. Select whatever code you want to move and hold Alt or Option key and you can move it by arrow keys. There are a lot of shortcuts but apply it in your practice one by one. Not everything at same time. Hack number 4. Combine all SVG into one file. Open svgsprite.es and drag your all SVG on this website. And this will generate one SVG file which is the combination of this all SVGs. It's not necessary but it will make a major changes in performance of your website. Because browser is sending only one request to server rather than 50-20 request for each SVG. If you want to know more about that, you can comment below and I will explain how to use it in your project in the next video. Hack number 5. Best HTML and CSS extensions Which will speed up your development process and it will boost your productivity. Number 1. HTML and CSS support this extension will show suggestion for the ID and classes from linked CSS file. Number 2. Highlight matching tag. This will highlight the selected starting and end tag, which is very helpful when you have a lot of code and you want to see the start and end point of that tag. Number 3. Auto rename tag. This is helpful when you want to change start or end of the tag at the same time. Number 4. Prettier. This is the most popular code formatter and this will organize your code in pretty good manner. Hack number 6 Image Source Set for Different Devices You can use source set in image tag in which you want to set different images for different devices. This is pretty useful when you want to set high resolution image for large screen and mid resolution image for small devices. If you want to learn more about that, you can visit this link. By the way, all links are available in the description box below. Hack number 7. Use WebP format for images. Now this is pretty helpful to make your website lightweight because we decrease image size without losing the quality of image. Open this link from the description box and there are 5 methods to convert your jpg or png into webp format. Hack number 8. 
use Tailwind CSS in your project. Which is the best and most popular CSS framework. If you are not using Tailwind CSS for your project, you are missing something really important. I have a tutorial on Tailwind CSS latest version. Link is down in the description. And here I have two more bonus tricks for you. Bonus number one, class effect. If you want glass effect like this, you need to simply add this to property. You can change this opacity and blur size according to your choice. And let's go for bonus number 2, smooth animation effect. Now this trick you might know which is we can add smooth animation by transition property. Just set transition to all 0.3 second ease and you see the smooth animation for that effect. That's it. Thanks for watching this entire video. I hope you learned a lot from this and you will apply these tricks in your development process. And yeah, lots of tutorials are coming. See you guys in the next one.